Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are still working on King John and to get, today we get a mouthful from Cardinal Pandolf in Act 3, Scene 1. So Constance was yelling at France and Austria about how much they screwed her over by allowing this marriage between Louis the Dauphin and Blanche, Lady Blanche of Spain to be a thing as opposed to backing Arthur to be the king of England. And then Cardinal Pandolf comes in, he was like, um, King John, Pope wants to know why you won't let Stephen Langton be the Archbishop of Canterbury, a position that he was elected to. And King John is like, nope, I didn't elect him, so he's he's no cardinal of mine. And, or he's no archbishop of mine, and Cardinal Pandolf says, well, then you're excommunicated. And hey, King of France, it's up to you to enforce that. And the King of France is like, uh... And yesterday we got to hear from him where he was like, but, 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 we, but, but, but we just became friends. Like, seriously, we just became friends. We just, we just promised to do this. And isn't that like spitting in the face of religion if we go back on these vows that we have sworn to one another and Cardinal Pandolf was like, uh, wrong answer. And, and France was like, please don't make, like, don't make me choose kind of, I, cause I'm in a really rough spot. And Pandolf says, so makes thou faith an enemy to faith. And like a civil war sets oath to oath, thy tongue against thy tongue. Oh, let thy vow first made to heaven, first be to heaven performed. That is, to be the champion of our church. What since thou swarest is sworn against thyself, and may not be performed by thyself. For that which thou hast sworn to do amiss is not amiss when it is truly done. And being not done, where doing tends to ill, the truth is then most done not doing it. The better act of purpose is mistook, is to mistake again, though indirect. Yet indirection thereby grows direct, and falsehood, falsehood cures, as fire cools fire within the scorched veins of one new burned. It is religion that doth make vows kept, but thou hast sworn against religion by what thou swearest against the thing thou swearest, and makes an oath the surety for thy truth, against an oath the truth, thou art unsure. To swear, swears only not to be forsworn, else what a mockery should it be to swear? But thou dost swear only to be forsworn, and most forsworn, to keep what thou dost swear. Therefore, thy latter vows against the first is in thy self-rebellion to thyself, and better conquest never canst thou make than arm thy constant and thy nobler parts against these giddy, loose suggestions upon which better part our prayers come in, if thou vouchsafe them. But if not, then know the peril of our curses light on thee so heavy as thou shalt not shake them off, but in despair die under their black weight. So it's a mouthful. It's a mouthful from Cardinal Pandolf. But basically what he's saying is you as the king of France swore to uphold the church. Like when you became the king of France, that was, that was it. You swore yourself to the church because they believed that kingdoms were given by God, um, that royalty was anointed by God, essentially. Um, so he's, he's saying, you swore an oath to protect the church first. So if you want to try to uphold an oath that you have made since that time, that is contradictory to the oath that you made before, then you're a hypocrite. And that's, then what good are any of your oaths? Like, you can't, you can't make an oath now that makes you go against the church because you're already sworn to the church. Like, life and limb, you belong to the church. So if you can't see that, and if you're not ready to go along with that, like, we're, we're we the church are happy to, you know, bring you along and, and, and help you in this task of making sure, or enforcing King John's excommunication. We're happy to help with that, but if you can't see that and don't want that, then we're going to send all of the fury of the hells at you also. So wouldn't that be fun? 
and France is like, eh, and Constance is like, yay. And um, finally, finally, as they, they get to like the very last possible moment when can't, the King of France is like just about to be excommunicated and or maybe killed too or something, you know, hyperbole. Um, he's like, you know what, no, it, I'll step away from the King of England. I will break that, that vow. And King John is like, ooh, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, dude. So King John and Philip the Bastard, who throws in yet another reference to a calfskin, um, are gonna go off because he's been excommunicated and Philip the Bastard kind of owes him something because he made him a knight, or yeah, made him Sir Robert Plantagenet, even though his name is Philip and he's the son of Richard the first. Yeah, bastard son of Richard the first. Anyway, so they go off to do their thing and the Cardinal says, you know, France, okay, we don't have to get at you. And Constance is like, ha, ah, burn King John. And um, Eleanor stays with her son. And then act three, scene one ends. And tomorrow we get to get into act three, scene two and see, see if King John takes his excommunication in a kingly fashion or no? What do you think? Will he? Hmm? We'll find out tomorrow. See you then.